Now, in this video, I'm going to compare bond angles in methane, CH4, ammonia, NH3, and water, H2O. Um, the Vesper, which is the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, not only states that electron pairs repel one another, but it also gives an order to the magnitude of this repulsion. So remembering that electron pairs are of two types. There's a bond pair, which in this video I'm going to abbreviate to BP. And that's exactly as stated. It's a pair that are involved in bonding. Second type are lone pairs. And in this video, they will be abbreviated to LP. And those are the pairs of electrons which are not involved in bonding. The order of magnitude of repulsion is as follows. The least repulsion is between two bond pairs. The greatest repulsion is between two lone pairs. And in between, an intermediate form of uh, strength, I should say, of repulsion is between lone and bond pairs. Now, when we're comparing our three molecules, it's essential that we know whether they contain bond or lone pairs and the numbers of each. So I'm just going to draw a table here to find out, firstly, the number of bond and lone pairs. So let's start here with methane. And central atom here is C. And the central atom is surrounded by four hydrogens, so that gives us four bond pairs. In nitrogen, I just put an ast or sorry, in ammonia, I just put an asterisk to show that nitrogen is a central atom, surrounded by three hydrogen atoms or bonded to those three hydrogen atoms, so three bond pairs. In water central atom is oxygen, bonded to two hydrogens, so two bond pairs. Next, we'll do a little calculation to get the number of lone pairs. Start with our central atom carbon. Number of valence electrons is four, so that's just four electrons on the outer shell. Four of these are involved in bonding. So 4 from 4 leaves 0. So it means there are no electrons left, so no lone pairs. Nitrogen, similar calculation. 5 valence electrons, so 5 electrons in the outer shell. 3 are involved in bonding. 5 minus 3 gives us 2 electrons divided by two to give us one pair. So there's only one lone pair of electrons. Finally, oxygen. Six electrons on the outer shell. Two of these we've seen are involved in bonding. Six minus two gives us four. So there's four electrons left divided by two to give us two lone pairs. What all of these molecules have in common is the total number of electron pairs, which in all cases is 4. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you by means of drawings where those electron pairs are. So let's just take a drawing of each individual molecule here. And what I've done is I have color-coded 
these repulsions. So each bond pair, bond pair repulsion is in green, orange for lone pair, bond pair, and yellow for lone pair, lone pair. So let's take a look. So first of all, methane. Now methane only has bond pairs. So this will be the only type of repulsion. And I've just drawn an arrow, a green arrow here, to show that repulsion. And that repulsion is present between all of the bond pairs. So they all get as far away from one another as possible, resulting in a bond angle of 109.5 approximately. That's the maximum distance they can all get away from one another. Now, ammonia. So ammonia has bond pair, bond pair repulsion shown in green, but it also has one lone pair. So in orange, we can see the lone pair, bond pair repulsion. These two little blue dots here, they just represent a lone pair of electrons. And in case you're wondering how, why there is a difference in repulsion between the various pairs. Well, if we look at this one here, this is a bond pair. And this bond pair is attracted not only to the nitrogen nucleus, but also to the hydrogen nucleus. So that means it's farther away from the nitrogen nucleus than the lone pair, which is only attracted to its own nucleus. So because bond pairs are farther away, it means from the nitrogen nucleus, it also means they're farther apart. So that means that they have less repulsion. So let's look again at this green arrow here. This represents the repulsion or the bond angle between the two bond pairs. It has been decreased from 109.5 to 107 degrees approximately. Why? Because this repulsion here is stronger. So that repulsion is stronger. So this angle here is greater than 109.5 resulting in this one down here being less, i.e. 107. Our last example has all three types of repulsion. It has the green one, which is the bond pair, bond pair, orange, bond pair, lone pair, and we also have a repulsion between lone pairs because there are two lone pairs. So, which is greater? Well, the greatest repulsion, I'm going to show this with a heavier line, that's the greatest repulsion of all, that one. The next, next greatest is this one. And the least is the green arrow here. Net result, if these bond angles are both increased, this green one must be decreased. And it is decreased to approximately 104.5 degrees.